So how productive was it? Well, to the credit of the people who organized the meeting and the tech CEOs, there were breakout sessions um, on pretty substantive topics, um, things that people don't normally put on the news, like procurement reform and how to get the government into the cloud and digital services for citizens. And I saw that most of the tech executives actually went to the sessions that, that I was in and had a, you know, a pretty substantive dialogue about these, these issues. So you're walking into this having worked for the Obama administration. Give us some color from the room. What did it feel like? Well, again, to the credit of, of the folks there, um, it felt like the people who've come into the White House since Obama left have looked at what uh, I and many, many other colleagues did to say, this is how we're going to modernize government, and said, yes, let's continue and accelerate that. Um, and I think that they're doing a good job of strengthening the United States Digital Service and the Technology Transformation Service, which are two units that absolutely do great tech for the American people. So uh, that's good. Um, I'm happy to see them doing that. They have a, a long way to go. On the other hand, they're doing this in the context of an administration uh, whose other actions don't necessarily represent uh, what's best for the American public if you're talking about services. Let's take a listen to what uh, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella had to say to President Trump. Take a listen. All the technology that we have today is because it started, in fact, in the government and the research institutions you funded, as, as, as well as the enlightened immigration policy. Of course, I'm a beneficiary of that, and I hope that we continue uh, to be able to sort of really make sure that the American competitiveness is what helps us set policy for it. Immigration has been a hot topic for yes. President Trump. How did he respond to that remark? I don't recall what the president said to that remark. I also know that there was a lot more probably said behind closed doors. Mm. They had five breakout sessions per slot, and I was not in the one on, on immigration, though I was very glad to see it on the agenda. Did course. President Trump seem receptive to what was discussed? President Trump certainly responded to those tech CEOs. Mm -hmm. um, I would really look, I think, more towards what the tech CEOs are saying to each other and how they're going to hold the president accountable, not just to the things that are about modernizing technology, but modernizing in the service of what? This should be in the service of services working for the American public, and they're going to have to stand up and ask those questions as this keeps going.